Babushka, retold by Sandra Ann Horn, illustrated by Sophie Fates. Barefoot Books, Step Inside a Story. Long ago, far away, there lived a little old woman. She was as round and kindly as a warm plum pudding, but she didn't stop sweeping, dusting, and polishing from sunrise to star shine. There was not a speck of dust or a spider web in her house. She kept busy all the time because there was an empty place in her heart, and it made her sad to think about it. One evening, Babushka was polishing her candlesticks when a bright new star shone in through the window. Why, there's a mark on the window pane, said Babushka. I haven't noticed that before. What a disgrace! The star hid behind a cloud. Babushka began to rub the window pane. She looked out and saw an angel in the garden. Good news, sang the angel. You'll have to wipe your feet if you want to come in, said Babushka. Angel flew away. There was a knock at the door. There stood three kings with golden crowns. Come in, your majesty, said Babushka, but please take off your royal boots. We have followed the star, they said, to find the new baby king. Would you like to come with us? I haven't got time to go journeying about, she said. What about the washing up? The king's camels were standing by the gate. Oh, said Babushka, muddy feet on my clean path. Shoo, shoo, and she flapped her dust cloth. The camels took fright and galloped away, and the kings went chasing after them. I'll just rest my feet for a little, said Babushka, before I dust the canary. No sooner had she sat down than her head began to nod, and she fell asleep. The angel came back and sang about a baby born in a stable with nothing but a swaddling cloth to wrap him in. The star peeped out from behind the cloud and shone in through the window, full on Babushka's sleeping face. She woke up. Bless me, she said, a baby in a scruffy stable full of cattle and not even a warm shawl to wrap him in? I must set off at once. She packed a basket with a little toy clown, a warm shawl, and a bottle of ginger cordial for the grown-ups and set off. The sky was lit up as bright as day by the star and crowded with angels, but Babushka did not look up. All this dust on the road, it's a scandal, she said. Babushka had not gone far when she saw a woman and a little girl by the side of the road. The girl was crying. "'What's the matter, dearie?' said Babushka. "'We were running to see the new king, and she dropped her dolly,' said the girl's mother. "'I put her in my pocket, and she must have fallen out,' the little girl sobbed. Babushka took the toy clown out of her basket and jiggled him to make him dance. The child stopped crying and laughed. "'Take it with my love,' said Babushka. Babushka had not gone much farther when she met a little old woman hobbling along and moaning. "'What's the matter, my dear?' asked Babushka. "'I want to see the new baby,' said the little old woman, "'but I can't get along very fast, because my legs ache so much.' "'Here,' said Babushka, "'take this cordial with my love. "'It'll do you a power of good.' The old woman took a big drink and trotted away with a smile on her face and a blessing on her lips. Around the corner Babushka came upon a shepherd boy carrying a newborn lamb. He was shivering. I couldn't keep up with the others, he said. My arms are so cold that I can't carry this lamb much further. It's a present for the new baby king. Babushka wrapped the shawl snugly around his shoulders. Take this with my love, she said. It will keep you warm on your journey. Babushka went on her way. The basket fell as light as air. She stopped and looked inside. It was empty. You silly old woman, she said to herself. You've given all the presents away. Sadly, she turned back the way she had come. I can't greet the baby without a gift, she said. Just then she heard a voice calling, Babushka. It was Mary. Babushka hung back. I have no gift, she said. Please come in, Mary smiled. 
Babushka went in, and there was the baby wrapped in the warm shawl. The little clown was beside him in the manger. Joseph was pouring a glass of cordial. But I gave all the gifts away, said Babushka. Everything you gave with love, you gave to my son also, said Mary. Babushka gazed around her. Look at the cobweb, she said. I'll just tidy up. Then the baby held out his arms and smiled. His eyes were like the deep, starry night. In his smile was love itself. A strange feeling crept over Babushka. She forgot about tidying up. Would you like to hold him? asked Mary. Babushka took the baby in her arms. All the animals crowded around. Babushka stroked the old gray donkey's nose. He nuzzled her ear. The baby chuckled, and so did Babushka. She held him close. Peace, sang the angels.